Welcome back, everybody. Kate from New Line here. I just wanted to talk to you about some of your day-to-day -day office routines that you're going to be incorporating your New Line into. So what we're going to talk about today is we're actually going to go in and initiate and kind of navigate through a Teams call from our New Line panel. So what I do um, is I've got my primary computer hooked up. So however you choose to do that, whatever port is your favorite, whatever computer is your favorite, does not matter. Uh, it doesn't change a thing because you're going to be running this uh, from your main computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop from the home screen into my preferred connection method. So I am going into my Windows computer now. As I look at my computer, your computer is your computer. Um, everything is where you would expect it to be. Everything is running the show. If you want to change how this looks or anything like that, of course, you have your computer settings. If you're running Windows 10, uh, it's gonna be over on the bottom left. If you're running the newer Windows 11, you'll see your Windows icon in the middle on the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna navigate over to my Teams app. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little tap. Uh, pops right open, of course, I wanna start my meeting. So what I'm gonna do is I have it set a little bit later, but all I have to do is go ahead and uh, give that a tap and then hit join. And again, because I have my computer fully connected to the panel, everything is touched, but of course I do have the option. I can go ahead and run things from my computer if I'm using a laptop that's in front of me as well. So however you would like to do it, I'm doing this because I have uh, my computer in front of me over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit join. And as I do that, um, you can see, all of your you know, general settings that you would normally have, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle on my camera. So you can actually see this is gonna be the, the window and window and window and window that I have going on. I don't know which way to look because um, we've got everything going on, um, but you would just choose your camera how you normally would. Of course, you do have your background filter. So if you wanted to select any of those, you can blur your background and I'll say, now you have the front of my head and the back of my head, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, but all of your background settings are just, you know, going to be navigating over on the right side. But I'm going to go ahead and just turn those off to make it a little bit easier, make sure everything is nice and clear for everybody. Uh, you have your microphone settings. And of course, you have main settings over on the side. So always make sure, I cannot stress this enough. Again, it's throwing me off seeing the, the front of the head and the back of the head. Uh, when you see settings in any of your programs that you are using, I always encourage people, you don't have to change anything, but just tap on your settings and see what your options are. As a trainer, I'll say about 80% to 90% of the questions I get usually have to do with settings. So your settings cogwheel in your Teams call is just over here on the right, and you can see all sorts of different options that you have to manage your call uh, and really make it your own. So your camera your speaker option, microphone, um, all of those different things. So uh, just make sure you choose what you want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit join now. Um, go ahead and just close that off. So um, I did have myself sign in from another account. So you will get the prompt if there is somebody waiting in the lobby. Uh, so you just want to make sure that you go ahead and allow all of your teammates in or any of your customers that you may be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and go into an admit. And you can hear the little feedback. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off right quick. There we go. But now you can see all of the different things that you have in a normal Teams call. So I don't have uh, another a third camera going there. Uh, trying to keep the motion sickness down to a minimum. But now you're all set. You can go ahead. Uh, if you wanted to do any of your chats, all you have to do is just tap on the window. Now your, your meeting chat is included. Uh, you can, of course, see everybody that is included in your meeting. You can see your participants. You're able to share your invites, everything that you normally would do and go ahead and just recommend from there. So know that you have incredible options, but you can see how everything just transfers right up to the new line, which is fantastic. But all of your systems and the way that you would go through and initiate a meeting and run a meeting and interact with folks is going to operate the same way, just a little bit bigger. So it's on a, a much grander scale, which is always very exciting. Again, going across the top, you have your mic, your camera options, 
uh, being able to share. So if you want to share different windows and again, settings, background effects, all of the things that you may want to manage to customize the experience for either what you are seeing or experiencing or what your clients or peers are seeing and experiencing as well. One pro tip, I always say, I get a lot of questions, folks, I'm going to pop into settings. We'll ask about uh, going into speakers, you know, the, the sound is coming out of my computer still and not the new line. Uh, you could see when we first got in, just make sure that your new line is chosen as your speaker of choice, uh, which is fantastic. So that will ensure that all of your sound is coming out of your front uh, facing speakers. Of course, on your new line panel, you have two 20 watt front facing speakers. So uh, you can, can have a little boom from there. It's, it's uh, very loud, which is fantastic. So hopefully everybody can hear all the amazing things that you're doing. But that is going ahead, opening and running a Teams call, uh, just navigating on your panel, opening it up, where to look, all of those great things. If you have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and leave that meeting. Uh, so now we're just kind of back into our normal Teams account here. Please do not hesitate to reach out. Here for you, anything you need, information down below, check out our website. Uh, we are always updating new videos like this one, which is fantastic, but hopefully just this quick overview on running your teams and where to look for things and, and pulling stuff open is helpful. We will be adding to this series, so keep the questions coming. There's something that you would like us to add to our video library. We're in the business of making dreams come true, so we would love to do that for you. Just let us know what you want to see, and hopefully you're having a great day. Take care.